chose to be a part of something one of a kind. You chose to join a community of leaders, creators, and innovators. You chose Texas. Here, discoveries are made that transform lives. You'll meet people from around the world and make meaningful friendships. This is the time to follow your passions, learn and grow into the best version of yourself. You are starting an adventure of limitless possibilities. What starts here changes the world. You have gone to Texas. You are a Longhorn. Welcome to Longhorn Nation. Hook 'em. Students, welcome to the University of Texas at Austin. I'm Jay Hartzell, your interim president, and I just want to say to the thousands of you watching at home or here in Austin, that wherever you've come from, whatever you've chosen to study, 
However great your ambitions may be, this is the place for you. This university is like no other, and that's because every generation of UT students has come here and made an impact on this campus. They've left their mark, and you will as well. Now, a very long time ago, in a world without Instagram, Drake, iPhones, and so many other staples of modern life, I was a new student here at UT. I came to Austin from a small school in San Antonio to get my graduate degree, and the experience changed my life. And because I know that all of you are new here, I figured I'd take you on a little tour to show you the spots on campus that stood out to me as a new student. The places where I learned, got lost, had fun, worked hard, and became a longhorn. So let's go. So here I am at the IM Fields and I just moved to Austin, been here a couple of days and thought I should go get my ID. And so I show up here waiting to catch the you know, well-known UT shuttle and it never shows up. In hindsight, it looks pretty obvious, but it turns out there's a separate summer schedule. So the tip is, before you try to come to campus on a bus, check out the schedule first. Hi everybody, I'm here on the second stop on our tour and this is a building I remember really well. I got to campus, had to get in my office and they sent me here to a building called Simply Keys. And I thought, wow, what a big university that has a dedicated facility all for the purpose of keeping track of and distributing our keys. Uh, so I'm here with Michael. Michael, how many keys do we have uh, at the university? We have 500,000 key openings and over a million keys issued out. Over a million keys. Odds are you'll find your way here too someday. See you next stop. All right, here we are next stop on the tour and we're actually in the basement of the business school. And it sounds probably a little funny now, but my goal when I got here was to move up to the basement. So I finally worked my way up to my own individual office down here, but we had to share a phone. And I think this is probably the same phone that was here then. This phone would ring and we would all hope it was the school who wanted to hire us when we, when we got out of here. So that was our phone. And then we would work our way into the offices and my friends and I were all sharing this, this uh, hallway together. And as you come down, you're gonna see where I was. This was my office. I'd be working here late at night and come out of the business school on my way home and it'd be one or two in the morning and it would, I would see others doing the same thing. And it hit me that here at UT, there are a lot of people putting a lot of hours, learning a lot of things, trying to do great work. So one of the ways I used to get around campus when I first started here was to have to use a map. And I'd try to make it sort of subtle so that people didn't realize I was lost, but I can admit it now, I got lost. So if you get lost too, don't feel so bad. It's actually a good excuse to use when you're a little bit late to class. For those of you Zooming from home, you have no such excuse. But when you get to campus, you too may find that you need a little bit of help. We call this the 40 acres, but it's actually a little more than 400. So don't be afraid to stop somebody and ask for directions. Here we are uh, with Hookham in another great spot on campus, uh, the bowling alley in the Texas Union. It's a great place to come, relieve a little stress, enjoy time with your friends, a little fun and competition. Plus, there's a natural hook and built into the balls, McConaughey style. Well, we made it back home. I hope that the tour was helpful, or at the very least, not so boring that you started turning screenshots of me into memes. I know how you operate. But in all seriousness, I am very aware that this is a strange time to be starting your UT experience. Maybe that's an understatement. But this pandemic and all that it has brought 
is going to be a part of your origin story for the rest of your lives. It is a defining moment, but one that you can define for yourself. You will face adversity this semester, but you will also find opportunities to serve, to help others, to better yourselves, to deepen your knowledge, and to share your ideas with the world at a time when they are desperately needed. Now, I spent the last few weeks looking for an awesome inspirational quote that would really sum up the UT experience and give you a good dose of inspiration as well. Sadly, most of my key reference points are old movies, primarily starring Will Ferrell, which don't often contain such quotations. But somehow I did find one, and yes, it comes courtesy of Mr. Ferrell. In the movie Blades of Glory, while wearing a ridiculous leotard, Will Ferrell says with supreme confidence, capture the dream. Then he goes out and does a crazy figure skating routine. And I know that line is supposed to be funny, but I also see very clearly how it relates to you and all that you will achieve at UT. You need to go out and spend this first year connecting with new people, pushing yourselves academically, and reaching new heights you maybe never thought possible. For all of you, the dream is to earn a UT degree, but you have to work hard if you want to capture it. So get ready to do just that. As Will says, capture the dream. Now, I'd like to turn things over to your student government president, Anaga Kakeri. Thank you, President Hartzell. And hello, everyone, and welcome to the University of Texas at Austin. In a fall semester that is truly like none other, more than half of you as new students are starting classes online. Like many of you, I'm still not back on campus. And it is important in the coming months for all of us to do what is needed to feel and stay safe and protect Texas together. UT's motto says, what starts here changes the world. And as a new member of the Longhorn community, Gone to Texas marks your beginning, as it has for your fellow Longhorns for many years. Since so many of you are not yet on campus physically, I'm going to follow President Hartzell's lead. And as my fellow student leaders will do throughout this program, take you on a tour of some of our favorite campus locations. You may not be able to enjoy them yet, but they'll be waiting for you when you get here. My first choice is the Campbell Williams Field inside Darrell K. Royal Memorial Stadium. I was hoping to come to you tonight over the Jumbotron above the field, but apparently Bevo has the field for the day. So instead, I'm coming to you from the Legislative Assembly Room in the William C. Power Junior Student Activity Center. The WCP SAC is one of my favorite locations on campus and one in which I spend a lot of time in. If I'm not studying in the awesomely beautiful architectural library located in Battle Hall, or enjoying the quietness of the courtyard at Goldsmith Hall, or out on the lawn of the East Mall, I'm usually in the WCP SAC. There's Starbucks and food and plenty of places to chill and study. This is where the student government offices are located, and the building is a place for students to literally, and now virtually, come together from all across campus. It is in this room that students work to help make UT a better place. You're now a part of an amazing community, and we're all in this together, so welcome. And now I'd like to turn it over to my good friend and the student government vice president, Winston Hahn. Thank you, Anaga. So I wanna give a welcome of my own to all of you new students. My name is Winston Hung, and I'll be serving as this year's student body vice president alongside Anaga. Like her, I love the Student Activity Center. This is a close second right here in the Norman Hackerman building on the fifth floor. I love coming here in between classes, looking outside the windows and seeing the canoes, but also all the people that go in during transition, going from class to class. It's so hard to believe that I've already been at UT for three years, but I remember the most about being an incoming student was the fact that I had this newfound independence and really just being able to go and explore wherever I wanted as a college student. I remember my freshman year going to Jendi's Enough for a Lifetime, which if you didn't know is actually just your Wendy's. I also remember going to Gregory Gym and playing volleyball, which I found that I really enjoyed but I definitely was not very good at. And that actually drove me to take a PE class my sophomore year to really get better at it. It's so funny how this is actually my first gone to Texas that I've ever been to because my freshman year, Hurricane Harvey canceled ours. And so that definitely started my freshman year on a rocky note, especially since my hometown of Beaumont, Texas got hit pretty hard. But I can definitely say, reflecting on my past three years, that things got so much better and that I had the time of my life. 
And although something like Hurricane Harvey doesn't compare to how all of you are starting your time at UT, I want to assure you that this will still be the best four-ish years of your life. Despite what happens right now, keep your spirits high, wear a mask, practice social distancing, and we'll get through this with a collective effort together. I want to wrap up by saying that I've had the pleasure to help judge your entries for the Gone to Texas Student Video Contest. And right off the bat, I want to say I really applaud your creativity, hard work, and really just bringing all these ideas together into these 30 second videos. So without further ado, we'll be showing the third place winner for this contest. But as I sign off, I just want to say welcome to Longhorn Nation and congratulations on coming to UT. Hook 'em horns. Hello, my name is Marlon. I am from Houston, Texas, and I accept the challenge. Yeah, maybe I said that too fast. Let's recap. We almost went to war. Australia burned, like orange burned. And then... Let's be honest, it's been hard. I've actually been crying for half of the summer. But now it's not time to mourn. Not at all. We cannot rewind time, so let's work with what we still have. We are part of a greater community, UT at Austin. We've been told that what starts here changes the world. The time has come for you to live up to your community. So whether you're staying on campus or at home, let's accept the challenge of becoming responsible and adaptable citizens, no matter how many times you get hit, because that's life. My name is Marlon, and I accept the challenge. And now we'd like to share a few words from some very well-known Longhorns. Hey guys, this is Sam Ellinger. Just wanted to welcome all the newcomers to the 40 Acres. Um, if you use all the resources and enjoy every minute of it, your experience here will be second to none. One piece of advice that I have is when you're, you're tasked with something in school, um, do it as soon as possible. Don't try to push it off until the due date and that will help alleviate a lot of anxiety and stress that school may bring. Uh, can't wait to see you guys on the 40 Acres this fall. Hook them. UT students, welcome to the University of Texas. You made an incredible decision. Best decision you've ever made is to be a Longhorn. It's not a four-year decision, it's a lifetime decision. Why it's a lifetime decision? Because we, what we say here at the University of Texas, what starts here changes the world. And I firmly believe this class coming in here with all the trials and tribulations you've, been, you've had to deal with, you are gonna change the world because you're prepared for every obstacle that's been hit. Appreciate you more than you know, hook up. Welcome to one of my favorite places in the world, Austin, Texas. Congratulations on becoming a Longhorn. I know things might look a little different this year, but it is still such an incredible school. And all of us Texas X's are wishing all great things for you. Hook them. UT freshman, my name's Quan Cosby. I went to UT 05 to 09, a part of the national championship team and still heavily involved. But uh, really, I just wanted to welcome you to campus. Some weird times for you guys, but do not let that discourage you. Uh, you're about to start an awesome time in your life uh, on campus. And and really, uh, a little bit of advice is what it took to get into UT, because it's tough to get in now, use that same focus to start fast. Starting fast is super important because it's a lot easier to start fast, deal with a little bit of a speed bump, if that comes, than to try to dig yourself out of a ditch. So uh, kudos, welcome to the Longhorn family, like I mentioned and um, hook them horns. Howdy y'all, Chet the Day Tripper here, Longhorn class of 03. Man, I remember moving to Austin from a small town and into Jester Hall. Where are my Jester folks at? Man, it was overwhelming, but totally exciting. Austin and the Texas Hill Country are straight up magical. So eat lots of tacos, jump in lots of swimming holes, explore it all and learn about the great Lone Star State. Of course, you gotta study somewhere in there too, but have yourself a big burnt orange adventure because remember, there's a reason God made the sunsets burn orange. Bye con Dios amigos and hook them. Hello everyone, I'm Gregorio Ponti, president of the Graduate Student Assembly. I'm glad to welcome you all to UT and especially the graduate students, including students in the Dell Medical School and the Law School. One of my favorite places here on campus is the overlook of the LBJ Fountain. It is a wonderful wide perspective of campus showing the LBJ Library, the Stadium, Texas Performing Arts, and the Tower. It's a great bird's eye view of campus. It's not surprising why they call it the Lady Bird Johnson Overlook. 
As a doctoral student in the physics department, I spend a lot of my time in the physics, mathematics, and astronomy building. Like President Hartzell's first graduate student office, I spend a lot of my time there, but it's not really a good place to see. Now I want to show you something that is worth seeing. The Engineering, Education, and Research Center, often referred to as the EER. Although I'm not an engineering student, students studying other scientific disciplines can utilize the interdisciplinary resources to advance creative thought and test our theories and ideas. I love having access to the X-ray diffraction lab and being able to use the incredibly advanced instruments it has to offer. The building itself was designed to help students interact with each other. One of the coolest parts of ER is how the design and architecture of the building visually demonstrate the science and technology coming together to make something truly inspiring and beautiful. Now it's time to show you the second place prize winner in the Gone to Texas video contest. Okay. My name is Justin Wagers, and I accept the challenge to find balance. For the last decade of my life, I've been searching for equilibrium all over the globe. The next step in that journey is a step towards knowledge and discovery, and it's a step towards Texas. As we enter a new phase of life at UT, let's turn it into an opportunity to pursue balance in every form. Between work and leisure, between the analytical and the creative, between freedom and responsibility, between individualism and community, and between what brings us pleasure and what makes a difference in the world. And let's make this next step forward be right on balance. Hi, my name is Alsace Nona and I am the president of the Senate of College Councils. Welcome to UT. I am so happy to be talking to you here on Main Mall outside of the UT Tower. The UT Tower is the heart of our university. It's a place where students can sit on Main Mall, listen to the tower bells, and study. My go-to study spot is actually inside the tower called the Life Sciences Library. The Life Sciences Library has a space called the Stacks, which is not very well known, but it's a really quiet and peaceful place to study, especially before a big exam. As a student in the School of Human Ecology, my other favorite building on campus is called Gearing Hall. Gearing is where I had my first class at UT, my freshman interest group, and that's where I met some of my closest friends today. It's also where my advising appointments happen, my classes happen, and meetings as part of the School of Human Ecology Ambassadors Program. Gearing and the other locations that we've shown in this program give us as students a sense of what campus feels like, but it truly is our fellow Longhorns, our peers, our professors, classmates, mentors, that help make this university feel like a home. And it's ingrained in us in a very young age. Take a look at this video. What do you see? What's on there? Walkers. What do you say? Hookers. Yes. That was so cute. I think it might take him a while to learn how to turn his horns the right way, but he definitely knows what it means to be a longhorn. As Winston mentioned, our Gone to Texas ceremony was canceled because of Hurricane Harvey our freshman year. But just like all of you watching this virtual ceremony, that doesn't stop us from taking a part in this ongoing longhorn tradition. So in closing, I'd like to show you just one more place on campus. It's called the Observation Deck, and it sits at the very top of the tower. The Observation Deck, because it's at the very top, has the most amazing view of campus and the city of Austin. Just inside the Observation Deck is a plaque with the university's honor code, a student-led initiative from Senate that began in 2008. The plaque includes a plate for all new students since that date, including this year. And here's the view I promised you. It's the best one on campus. Now in just a few moments, the tower will burn bright orange for each of you. But before we get ahead of ourselves, it's time to show the winning video of the 2020 Gone to Texas Student Video Contest. Welcome to UT and hook them. Like all of you, I've had some obstacles to face. Whether the current global situation or the stress of the college admissions race. One of the reasons I chose UT is those obstacles turn into building blocks, but it's up to me to use them and not let them just sit like rocks. Not every block will be the same, neither size or shape or weight, but they don't have to stand alone, at least according to my fate. When time management becomes a struggle or when Zoom consistently chooses not to connect, I won't sit in what seems to be walls, 
but break them down and use my strengths to prevent unnecessary and unhealthy stress. This is a new chapter, a new phase, a new beginning. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to let challenges keep me from achieving. My name is Meredith Bowden, and I accept the challenge to overcome obstacles in ways that will shape me, but not define me. Because after all, blocks are meant for building. So in addition to giving the tour tonight, one of the things I also wanted to do was to take a moment to answer some questions. I thought maybe there's a chance I might be able to be a little bit helpful to you. So we went out to Instagram and got some questions back and I wanted to spend a few moments. So thank you for sending these in. So first question, what's the hardest challenge to overcome as a first year student? You know, I think it sounds simple, something that you all did very well, otherwise you wouldn't be here, but it's go to class. You're gonna find it tempting just to sleep in a little bit on a Tuesday, then maybe again on a Thursday, uh, take a break here and there. And before you know it, you'll have missed the equivalent of a month of high school and you're gonna be behind. So go to class. All right, next question. How do I make new friends? It's a great question. And I think the main thing I would tell you is remember, you may feel like you're the one here that's new and may not be comfortable, may not know people. You're not alone. We've all been through it. There are people here from all places across the state, across the country, and around the world. And we're all trying to make new friends. So the main thing I would say is take a little chance. Ask somebody to go get a cup of coffee. Ask somebody, if you're virtual, to go do a Zoom cup of coffee. Find some reason to connect. Take that chance. I think you'll find it works out. Next question. What should I do to be my best self this semester? You know, the main thing I would tell you is to get engaged, get involved. This university is a big place, and you can kind of skim along and miss a lot of the greatness. So I would tell you, take this chance, get engaged, find something to join, find a club, find one in your home, college, or school, and then find one that stretches your boundaries a little bit. Something else around campus that where you'll meet different people from different places, I think you'll enjoy it. All right, next question. What was the scariest part of your first year experience? As I think about it, it was probably that little nagging feeling that maybe I didn't belong. I, I joined a small PhD program here, and we went around the room and introduced each other the first day, and I listened to all the things that my classmates had accomplished, and I thought, I'm the odd person out. I don't fit in here. I'm not qualified. That was my scariest moment, but I'm living proof you can get through that moment, and you do belong. We chose you to be here for a reason. All right, last question. What's your favorite UT tradition? For me, it, it starts with this tower behind me. It's lighting the tower orange. We do it on special occasions. A big win, a celebration, a big gift, something that really signifies achievement. It's a sign of how we want to go out and change the world. So you're going to see it later tonight. We're going to light the tower orange in your honor. Enjoy it. And every time you walk across campus and get to see that tower lit, pause for a moment, think about why is it lit tonight, and celebrate what it means to be a longhorn. That's my favorite tradition. New Longhorns. As a UT graduate, it is my honor today to welcome you to the 40 Acres. Three generations of my family went to UT, and in addition to Bevo and Big Bertha, there's another Texas tradition that we all shared, Austin City Limits. You may know ACL as one of the best music festivals in the world, but it had humble beginnings, starting as a little TV show in 1974 in the Communications Building on the UT campus. In our 46th season, Austin City Limits is now the longest running music show in the world, hosting performances by everyone from Willie Nelson and Dolly Parton to Kendrick Lamar and Radiohead. And it is the only television show ever awarded the National Medal of the Arts. Indeed, what starts here changes the world. In recent years, Austin has grown as a city and as a music scene to be more vibrant than I ever could have imagined. It's rightfully known as the live music capital of the world, but as I speak to you today, things are a little different. I'm sure y'all want to get out there, explore Austin, and take in some great live music. I'm with you, but right now we're going to have to be patient, stay safe, and take care of each other for a little while before we get back to that. So instead, today I wanted to give you a glimpse of the kind of shows we normally host here in Austin, the life-changing ones you'll be attending in the years to come. So here's Ed Sheeran performing his song, Shape of You, for us at Austin City Limits. Enjoy and hook them.
2024. Congratulations, you made it to college. You missed prom, you had a weird high school graduation, your summer was filled with Zoom, but you're here now and I'm already so impressed by y'all. My name is Sahana Srinivasan. I'm an actress, comedian, and filmmaker, and recent host of Netflix's original science show, Brainchild. Graduated from UT in 2019 with a degree in radio, television, and film. And I know there's a lot on your mind right now. You're asking a lot of questions, and I may not have the perfect advice for you, but Here's what I got. For me, I found a lot of my best friends from student organizations on campus, like Longhorn Late Night, a sketch comedy show, or a snafu, an improv troupe. And if you don't vibe with any of the student organizations that already exist on campus, start your own. You just gotta get like two or three other people, you can meet online, and you can put on your resume, you're president of your own student organization. How amazing is that? Another great way to make friends in college is to reach out to like one person. That's it, your roommate, someone in your class, you can message them if you're taking online classes, and they might might know like two or three other people and, and then you know like two or three other people and then you join forces and before you know it you have your circle of friends in college. About half of you are at home taking online classes, hanging out with your family and I know you want to be on campus. I know this isn't the college experience that you were expecting and I know this is cheesy but cherish the time that you have with your family. Learn how to cook, you know, because you'll definitely need that. I am, I am struggling. <laughs> and realize that you're both adults now so even if you're at home taking online classes It'll be a whole new experience, you know? You'll have conversations as adults. Watch a couple more movies with them on the weekends. Cherish that. And even if you're on campus, it's still not the same college experience you were expecting. Even though I miss the partying and hanging out with my college friends, I really miss some of the simple moments from college, like washing my bowls in a dorm room sink. Cherish that. Like just walking around campus and feeling like a college student, that itself was so cool to me. UT is a huge school, you know? I was a senior in college and I was still using Google Maps to get to class. Cherish that. You're gonna constantly be discovering cool new buildings and, and like turtle ponds and, and stuff. Stuff like that so so just take a walk around campus I think that itself will be really nice turtle ponds cherish that I think a lot of us I myself included want to be leaders we want to be fearless people and one way to do that is to try new things even if you feel like you're not the perfect fit even if you feel like you don't have enough knowledge for it maybe do it when I booked brainchild um, I felt like I wasn't ready. I felt like, you know, it was gonna be really difficult. I, was, I had to take off an entire semester of college and film it in New York by myself. I was freaking out and acting was my, is my forte, not, not science. So I kind of felt out of place, but I took it anyway. I did it because I knew if the opportunity is coming to me, I am ready for it, you know? So I, I did it and I learned so much as a result and got so many other opportunities because of it. I think that fearless people were once fearful and leaders were once followers. By doing new things, you may learn so many new things about yourself that you didn't even know you could do. And that's what college is all about. Cherish that. And remember to take it easy. Take it one step at a time. There's a lot we don't know right now. But what we do know is that we're in the same boat. We're in this together and that's comforting. Right? Young people are gonna change the world, and we already have. We raise awareness for social issues, and we speak up, we raise our voices. I have no doubt that we're gonna continue fighting for change, even after the pandemic. 
and I think that's a little glimmer of hope. We've already accomplished so much, we just gotta keep going. And now I'm gonna hand it over to President Hartzell live in the main mall for the moment you've all been waiting for. So congratulations, and hook em horns. Thank you, Sahana. Well, we've come to the very end of the program. I hope you've had fun and gotten a sense of what it means to be a part of this amazing, vibrant community. You may be new to the university, but make no mistake, you belong here. Your talent, your brilliance, your creativity, your humor, your enthusiasm. We want you to bring it all this first year and beyond at UT. This is your new home, and we're thrilled to welcome you to our family. And as part of a big family, sometimes we have difficult conversations with each other. We did that this summer when our community came together to discuss our school song, The Eyes of Texas, ultimately committing to own and teach about the song's difficult history while continuing to sing this anthem that has united Longhorns for over 100 years. In a moment, we will replay a performance of The Eyes of Texas from the 2005 National Championship game, a historic win for UT and an unforgettable moment for so many in our community. And I invite you to sing along. So with all of that, congratulations to each and every one of you who have now gone to Texas. Welcome to the University of Texas at Austin and hook em horns. for the national championship come down to this play. Young from the shotgun, back to throw. Vince looks, under pressure. He'll tuck it in and run. Vince to the five. Young, touchdown, Texas. Touchdown, Vince Young. Texas has defeated Southern California 41-38 to to win the national championship of college football.